Good morning, Wyzetta. We're coming to you Friday, October 4th. We're starting to get this new news break figured out. I'm Joe Blum. I'm Colleen Brenner. What are you up to this weekend, Colleen? Well, I'm actually going to my cabin to spend some time in the outdoors while the weather is still nice. That super, sounds super exciting. Oh, yeah. It's a good thing you're not heading south, though. I heard that Highway 101 bridge closure is still giving people trouble. Yeah, we actually got some interviews with some of the neighbors, and they have a lot of mixed reactions. Let's take a closer look about what they said. Last week, we looked at the Highway 101 bridge and the construction behind it. Now let's take a look into the community and how it's impacting our residents. <laughs> Uh, we've seen an increase in traffic in some of our residential areas, uh, neighborhoods, some people trying to go take shortcuts, which is to be expected, but we've taken measures to make sure that they're not speeding through. So stepped up uh, police patrol uh, sign saying that this is just uh, local traffic only. So they have had the police out here, they have signage out here, but I think basically people don't no one cares. No one cares, right? A lot of people just, this is the better way to go than to go to Ferndale or to go whatever the alternative routes that they've recommended are. Yeah, I know it's a tough one. I understand it impacts people's lives on a daily basis, um, you know, uh, but once it's done, uh, people will be happy with the product. You know, you'll get a, you'll get a uh, comment here and there when people drive by. Mm -hmm. Um, but for the most part, it's been, usually that happens right away when you change traffic or something in that situation. Then after that, when people are used to it, it, it doesn't affect them much or they don't, at least they don't say much to us. Um, we, as a, as a neighborhood, put up signs a couple weeks into it to try to slow down the traffic because it was so, so bad. Um, I mean, I understand they have to do it, but I, I wish a lot of them would take other routes. I think it's unfortunate that it's going through our neighborhood. I love the sign that somebody has posted in the northern part of this neighborhood, which is your shortcut, your detour, your detour is, is our, neighborhood. our neighborhood. Slow down, right? I like that. <laughs> and we try to go biking every day. You have to be very cautious as a biker now on Broadway. You used to not have to worry about it, but you definitely have to be concerned about people going too quickly, especially at the loose line interconnect there on Broadway. You know, there is some kids around the neighborhood, a lot of people walking or riding bikes and stuff like that. So, okay. so sometimes, uh, not only in front of our house, when we're backing up out of the driveway, quite often we have to wait for cars and it's usually we never really had to maybe here and there, but now it's seems like virtually every time I back out, I have to wait for five or six cars. So, not that big of a deal, but it, it gets to be kind of nuisance a little bit. And then driving downtown was you can definitely tell there's more traffic and there's just not as many ways to get around. I think it will be good from what I understand. Uh, I think there's going to be uh, some extra turn lanes, some extra lanes. So if you're going over one on one, like say heading south towards the lake, you won't have to wait behind somebody taking a left and getting on the highway on the 394 heading east. I think obviously we have to be respectful if we're going to use the neighborhood. And I think we should be here to enforce the speed limit and the stop signs. Fascinating to get a different perspective. Hopefully drivers can take that into consideration. German students are heading to Germany this summer. Info meeting at 6.30 p.m. on October 10th in room A416. Check with the German teacher. Applications are due October 31st. College is on tap for next week. Wisconsin Superior, Normandale Community College, Loyola of Chicago, Learn from Those Jesuits, Minnesota State Mankato, Cornell, the one in Iowa, Bemidji State, Grinnell, Gus Davis, St. Kate's, and many more. Use the CCC portal to sign up and get a pass. Club YES folks can explain how to apply for the Pres Prudential Spirit of Community Award, open to students who are making a difference in their community. Deadline is November 5th, 2019. Not the same as the President's Service Award, a whole different deal. Math team meets at 3.30 in the second floor forum room on Monday, October 7th. Just show up. If you have any questions or are unable to make the first meeting, contact Mr. S Mr. Skirbitz in A117 or Mr. Barnett in A116. Baseball will meet October 10th in the fourth floor forum, B403, at 7.30 a.m. All players wishing to try out should attend. Any questions, see Coach DeWitt. Our own personal football guru, Katie Imdek, has a preview of tonight's game against Minnetonka. 
Hey Trojan fans, this is Katie Emdeck, your football reporter. Get excited for tonight's matchup against our late conference rivals, the Minnetonka Skippers. We're bringing home the Baybell after three years now. The Skippers have had a rough start to the season. They're 0-5 to start, but your Trojan boys are 5-0 undefeated and ranked number two in the state after an awesome win at Eden Prairie last week. The keys of the game for each team. Wyzetta needs to keep a level head. We don't need to get too cocky, and we need to keep playing our game of football. Minnetonka needs to keep feeding junior running back Ben Tolkienen, who has been very successful running the ball in Minnetonka's struggles. He even had a 65-yard run last week in a one-possession game versus Shakopee. It'll be huge to shut him down. Come on out to our home stadium, pack the student section, and support the Randy Shaver Cancer Foundation by buying a t-shirt either at your lunch or during the game. Let's tackle the skippers and tackle cancer tonight. Thank you, Katie. Now back to your announcements. Bass guitar players, jazz ensembles want you for re performances this fall and winter. See Mr. Elmhurst or Mr. T. Walt in the new band room, E245. Circle Mirror Transformation runs from October 4th to October 12th in the Black Box. Tickets are $15 for adults, $12 for seniors, and $10 for students and staff. Showtimes are on whstheater.com. Tickets are available on ePay or at the box office before the show. GSA Gender and Sexuality Alliance meets every Monday from 3.20 to 4 in Mr. Ferry's room in C214. Everyone is welcome. Retakes for school pictures will be Thursday, October 10th. Make sure to bring your smile. You know what, Pauline? I'm interested in some of the places that we can't see at Wyzetta High School. Yeah, we actually have a news team investigating one of those secret places. Right now, five seconds from here, I'll be living. I'm going to be a future by then. True, true. Do you know about the basement? So today we're going to go around and see if anybody knows, like, if there's a basement in the school, if they know where an entry point for the basement is. Do you know if there's a basement in this school? Yeah, I've heard there's like some crazy stuff that goes on down there. Oh yeah. Is it by the dungeon? No clue. Scary, spooky, swampy creatures, you know, so. Yeah, it's, it's really weird. I don't know. I mean, I heard they throw the bad kids down there for detention. Do you know where the basement is? Like an entry point? Um, no, I'm not sure. I haven't found it yet. We definitely do not have a basement. Probably under the first floor. Yeah, I think we're living in the future. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot for a yeah. basement. Okay, so where are we? This would be the boiler room. This is the lowest room in the building. Dang. So, in all, we do not have a basement, but we do have a boiler room underneath the custodian wing that's not that big and not too deep down. But while we were searching for the boiler room, we did find. Thanks for watching, Wyzetta. I'm Joe Blum. I'm Colleen Brenner. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Have fun at the lake, Colleen. Thank you.